So what's the deal with all of these remixes and cover versions? In the last few years, as making music has become more accessible and self-promotion platforms like TikTok have gotten more popular, it has become almost the norm for many artists to simply make their own version of a well-known song, upload it on TikTok and eventually release it on Spotify and other music platforms. But is this even legal? The truth is that the legal situation behind all of this is so complicated that even the German performing rights organization GEMA can give a straight answer on how to handle these edits, which are often mistaken for cover versions. Alright folks, today I'm on a mission to demystify all this legal jargon surrounding viral TikTok remixes. Let's break it down. What's the deal with covers and edits? And can you even post these songs on TikTok in the first place? Stick around to the end because there are so many details we have to go through to answer these questions. So let's start with cover versions. What exactly makes a cover a cover? Okay, picture this. You produced a track for which you've recorded the vocals of another song, so it's pretty much a carbon copy of the original, maybe with a few instrumental changes here and there. But the arrangement and the tempo are the same as the original. That's what most people would call a cover version, which by definition does not require the permission of the original rights holders. But get this, let's say your cover is sped up by a hair, like just one beat per minute, or your version is missing some of the outro adlibs from the original song. Suddenly it's not a cover anymore, it's an edit. This also means that Voix sur ton chemin by Bennett, for example, is rather considered an edit, and Ain't Nobody by Felix Yen and Jasmine Thompson is rather considered a cover because it follows the arrangement of the original song. Well, that's a theory, but in reality it's a lot more complicated than that. Here's the thing, while it should be clear that using the vocal recording or samples of another song without re-recording them is clearly an edit or a remix, simply re-recording those elements does not 100% guarantee that a song can be called a cover. The distinction isn't always clear cut. Courts have debated it endlessly and guess what, they often can't come to a clear decision. Even GEMA can't completely rule out what's considered a cover and what's not. Here's what they say. We are not allowed to decide whether it is an arrangement or a cover version. Only the rights holders of the original work can do this. And this is the core of the problem. While in theory you are allowed to upload a cover to Spotify without asking the original songwriters for permission, it is recommended to play it safe and check with the original rights holders as even the smallest change could potentially get you into trouble. That's what I was saying, man. There are several services that offer so-called cover licenses for just a few bucks. Many of these services advertise that they can give you a license to just about any song on the planet. The sad part is, that is usually too good to be true. Buying a license for a Michael Jackson song for $30 is something you can do, but then you should also pay close attention to what the license is for. Most of the time, the license is only for private use, only for a handful of countries or only until a certain amount of streams is reached, like 10,000 or less. So in reality, you have a license for an MJ song, but you're still not allowed to put it on Spotify. Cover licenses doesn't necessarily have to cost a fortune, as the original rights holders usually see cover versions as another source of income since they get a cut of every stream or radio play. Anyway, please be careful when dealing with such services and don't get ripped off. Now, if this is the harsh reality, why do so many artists still make these remixes on TikTok? The short answer, high risk, high reward. You could compare it to stealing a chewing gum from a supermarket. A lot of people never get caught, but those who do have a big problem. Artists who do not have an official cover license or permission from the original rights holders often run the risk of having to pay huge fines. Other times, labels and rights holders jump on the bandwagon and turn the formerly illegal edit into an official release. And that's what most artists hope for. If the song is doing well on TikTok and there is already a huge audience waiting for it, it is often a win-win situation for everyone involved to make an unofficial release. Still, you never know what will happen and while others may blow up from doing these edits, there are also others who have faced significant financial problems due to misusing someone else's copyrighted material. To sum it all up, if you want to release an edit, a cover or anything in between and you don't want to get in trouble, I strongly advise you to always, and I mean 
always get a permission or a license from the original authors or rights holders. Otherwise, you're bound to trip yourself up and make it harder for yourself to have a healthy and long-term career as an artist. If you want to learn more about this and other topics related to the music industry, I also recommend you check out our podcast. Just click here or on the link in the description. Also, check out our socials where you'll find me talking about many other helpful tips, tricks, strategies and music-related news. If you have any questions or topics you would like me to talk about, just drop them in the comments. And if you're looking for a trustworthy partner to distribute your music to all platforms out there, I highly recommend you check out our Dictus website below in the video description as well. Until then, stay safe and keep making good music.